right, so now I'm in Bo I made it to Boston. We got a five hour layover. Uh, while I was waiting at the airport, uh, I put a post up, post on Instagram asking for tips on what to do in Boston on a long layover. My friend Amanda, hey Amanda, I haven't heard from her in a long time. Um, she gave me a whole itinerary of what to do in five hours. I actually only have about two hours, two and a half, give or take. Um, never been to Boston before. Um, it's sort of been on the list of places to go, but never really had an opportunity to go. And, uh, when I pick out airfare, I, I often actually look for places that have a long layover. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to go to places I wouldn't otherwise go to. Hence, I'm here in Boston. Um, right now, I'm headed to the waterfront. Uh, just gonna go have a look around, so come with me. For all you folks that care what, about which gear I'm using, I've got my Canon R6 with a 50 millimeter lens and then a uh, 16 millimeter lens. Uh, I was going to shoot with my Hasselblad, but walking around, changing film and exposure metering, metering I don't have a, a lot of time, so I'm being lazy, I'm going digital. Anyway, so um, you'll be able to tell which lens I'm using, I'll have the info with each picture, but um, found this cool railroad, uh, railroad fire station. It's pretty fancy. <laughs> on gear I recommend that I actually learned from Thomas Heaton watching him go to Tibet um, he brought a little fanny pack with him which I guess in English terms a fanny is not something you say in polite culture but anyway I highly recommend carrying a side bag um, just so you can quickly change lenses uh, stow your camera while you have your backpack I just had some good uh, clam chowder and some bacon covered scallops on high recommendation. Uh, they were really good, but now I've got a pretty good food coma, so I'm just uh, going for a walk. Um, I'd rather just kind of sit right now, but I gotta keep moving. Um, I think around the corner, there's a spot where the Boston Massacre took place, so I'm gonna go check that out. So I made it to the site of the Boston Massacre. 
there's a couple reasons I came over here. One, it was just, you know, it's around the corner, so I'd go at least check it out. And second, whatever, growing up, I always hear the Boston Massacre. I never really heard details, but I always just assumed it was like a, a uh, massacre. Like, there's a lot of people who were killed. I thought it was part of the Revolutionary War, but it took place before the Revolutionary War. And there were uh, British redcoats, uh, I guess, guarding the area. The uh, colonists, or whoever they were, Sons of Liberty, I'm not sure. They were having a riot, and they were pressing against uh, uh, troops that were guarding this building. I think it was this building. And they they were vastly outnumbered. The, the troops were outnumbered. And they began pressing against the, uh, the troops. The troops shot, and five men died, sadly. Um, but it was then it was widely publicized that the, the Redcoats, um, you know, were shooting uh, harmless... Um, uh, colonists that were, you know, revolting, and you know, it turns out it was actually kind of a piece of propaganda. It wasn't like uh, these colonists were just walking by and the it was evil uh, British, but um, it was inter interesting to read while I was having dinner about John Adams, uh, the third president. Uh, he actually stood up for the the redcoats, not so much to side with them. But he went based on facts as a lawyer, seeing that the uh, guys that were shot and the crowd that was with them were the ones sort of picking the fight. And, you know, sad to say, but they, they were killed. And um, so I thought it was interesting. John Adams, he, uh, you know, went with the facts. Look at that. Anyway. made it to Boston Commons. It was uh, third on my friend's list. Uh, really cool po looking park. I guess it's sort of like Central Park, but Boston Commons. Found it in the 1600s. How's that for tourist details? Travel details. Anyway, worth checking out. Okay, extreme close up. Whoa! I had a good time walking around Boston. I made it back to the airport um, just in time to see that there's no airplane. Uh, my flight's delayed a couple hours, so it gives me time to relax. So, uh... <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I've had a lot of fun going across the country. Um, I'm ready to go home, but I'm also uh, excited to see more, you know. Traveling's fun. Anyway, I'm going to go chill over there in my seat. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye. Now close the boarding door. Prior to aircraft movement, all customers must be seated with their seatbelts fastened. Please make sure your seat back is up for you. Your tray table is stowed. Then I'll carry